Hello everyone. In this session we are going to discuss different ways to write CSS. There are mainly three ways we can write CSS. First is inline style. Second is internal or embedded CSS. And the last and the most recommended way of writing CSS is external CSS. We are going to discuss all these ways of writing CSS in detail. First is inline style which is most easiest way of writing CSS. It is possible to place CSS right in your HTML code and this method of CSS is known as inline CSS. Inline CSS has the highest priority out of external and internal. This means that you can override styles that are defined in the external or internal CSS using inline CSS. Because it is having the highest priority, we can override the rules which were written in, uh, in external or internal CSS. If you want to add a style inside an HTML element, all you have to do is specify the desired CSS properties with the style attribute. Style is the attribute which can be used with all the HTML elements and we can specify our CSS over there. For example, I want to specify some style, some CSS to this particular paragraph. What I need to write, I simply need to write an attribute named style and I can specify the properties of that particular element right away inside our HTML. For example, let's see some our code. Whatever we have written in the last session using the class and ID selector. I am removing this particular code as of now. This was actually the second method which we have used over here which is internal CSS. But right now I don't want to specify any class or any CSS property which is by default h two h1 tags and one para tag and the out output of that particular page would be simple HTML and I want to specify some styles to this particular element I need not to write any selector or any uh, ID or any class I simply need to provide one attribute of that particular element which is style and I can specify color as a red so instead of targeting over here what I'm writing I'm simply writing it in line and this way of writing CSS is called as an inline CSS and this particular property will only be applied to this particular element so when I refresh the Arjun Bala will be colored as a red so this is inline for example I want to specify same property to different elements I need to copy that again I am writing paragraph style equal to color colon red to all the elements and if, when I refresh the page it will be colored red so this way of writing CSS is known as a inline CSS because it is easier because we need not to target or we need not to specify ID or class or need not to specify any target we simply need to write style attribute to the element which we want to uh, color or which we need to provide a property to that so it is easier and having a highest priority we are going to see how it is uh, having a highest priority and what will be the effect of this priority second is a internal style set this type of CSS only uh, applies to the single web page when using internal CSS we must add a new tag style inside our head section we need to specify all the properties inside a style element in the head tag. The HTML code below contains example of the style usage. Let's see example of that. For example, same uh, example which we have used in the inline CSS we are using here. I want to specify properties to this particular content which is written inside the body so what I need to do I need to specify a style tag inside my head 
so I'm writing a style this is optional no need to worry for that but if you write it will be good I'm writing a style tag inside my head and I can specify properties of this particular tag over here but in this particular case we need to target it and currently I am targeting it with the element I am targeting element P and specifying color to that tag so I am targeting all the paragraphs inside my body and making it red actually the examples which we have seen inside a class and ID where where internal CSS so whatever we are writing inside my head and style will be called as a internal CSS or embedded CSS in this particular case if we are using a internal CSS we need to target in a normal way inline way what we are writing here for example color blue CSS knows that I need to color it blue but whom this particular element because it is written inside the style but when we are specifying a internal or embedded CSS we cannot simply write color red obviously it doesn't make sense because to whom we want to color we need to specify and that uh, how we are specifying it with a selector it can be element it can be ID or class or combinations of all this so this is a second way of writing a CSS we, uh, we are writing our style tag instead of attribute if you are using attribute style it will be inline and if we are specifying style tag inside a head will be considered as a internal or embedded CSS so this is how we can use second way of writing CSS which is internal the last and the most recommended way of writing style sets is external style set when we, uh, we when we are using the third way of writing CSS it is it will completely separate our HTML and CSS code placing CSS in a separate file allow the web designer to completely differentiate between content which is HTML and design which is CSS because not a single line of code of designing is written inside our HTML page external CSS is a file that contains only CSS code and is saved with a .css extension so we need to separate our design code with our content code so we are writing a separate file and saving it with .css extension but then we need to link these files using a link tag we need to link our content and design using the link tag inside our HTML for example I am writing my demo.html which consists of only the content and I am writing my file only design file with .css extension now it won't work simply because I, there are no style tags here no inline no internal no external there is nothing over here so it will be a normal HTML tags if I want to specify this ID with that and this tag P to all the P's what I need to do I need to link both the files to link these files I am going to use a link tag inside our HTML I need to specify relation rel link rel equal to style sheet, which specifies that the a, a file which was linked in the HTML what is the relation between these files this is style sheet. the type of that file is text slash CSS and href is a path to this particular file as we have already seen this is relative path so demo.html and test.css must be in the same folder so it will work and the output is like this 
let's see an example of a external style sheet for example i don't want to specify any design code in my file html file so i cannot write this code over here so i'm removing this thing this is pure content file there is no any styles even i am removing this inline css over here this is pure content file no html uh, no css codes and no css property at all i want to separate my content with design so what i am doing i am right creating a new file and i am i have pasted the code which i have written in a, in internal css same code i am paste oh, i have i have paste over here and i am saving this particular file as first dot css because extension must be dot css so this is my content file and this is my design file i have specified my uh, properties or the declarations over here and i want to link that particular file over here to link this file in this particular file what i need to do i need to use a link attribute a uh, link tag i need to specify relation as well as type which is textless css and in href i need to specify the file name of the file which i want to link in our case it is first.css so in this file there are no any styling in this file there is only styling and i am linking that file over here so the same output will be displayed okay so this is how i can write external css inside the html i am linking my file in my html file there are many advantages of external css for example it keeps your website design and content separate so uh, when i need to change only design i need not to go, uh, change in my html file and if i want to change the content i need not to change in my css file it it is very easier to reuse the css code because what i need to do if i am using external css i can reuse this particular file in many pages so reuse, reusability will be increased and if i want to change throughout the website if i am using simply a single css file and i want to change the color i simply need to write it here once if i change over here the change will affect throughout the website because i have linked this particular css in all of my css uh, html files so it would be very easier for uh, very easy to change thank you